Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. I want to apologize. I had not been able to upload sooner. I've been so busy. You guys have no idea. Extremely busy with uh, private consultations, with a lot of rites and rituals performed for my clients and cleansings, etc. We are getting closer to the end of the year. So if you guys are interested in private consultations or readings, definitely look at the description box below. So you can contact, uh, contact me and set up an appointment ahead of time because the last two months of the year are always the craziest for me. So just an FYI for you guys, okay? So anyways, let's get into this reading. This is going to be for Aries for the month of September 2017. Um, before I get into the reading, I did some scrying and I was told relationships are going to be very important for the month of September going all the way to the mid of October. Um working towards goals and achieving them. Uh, health issues may uh, start to affect or maybe perhaps you guys have been feeling a little bit of fatigue, um, a little, you know, drained, etc. It's just a uh, need for uh, grounding. So you guys can, you guys are a fire sign. So I would highly encourage you guys to get a candle, light it, sit on the floor uh, in a butterfly position and actually inhale and exhale um, a couple of times very, very slowly while you're dowsing or looking at the uh, flame because it is your fire element. It's going to help you ground your root chakra, okay? So anyways, um, let's see. Spirit wants me to tell you guys to be daring, to be open or open yourself up to new opportunities. Um, this can also, when I hear uh, be daring, it could be that you guys are initially or in the process of getting to know someone. Perhaps you guys are interested in them, but you shy away from it. And even though it's a little bit uh, not very much a trait of an Aries, perhaps some of you guys are dealing with someone that might intimidate you or perhaps has a strong personality versus what you're used to. Um, so again, be daring, be open to the possibilities and challenge yourself. Uh, a lot of the times when we find people that are of stronger characteristics or stronger personalities than we are, it usually does bring something to us or teaches us something uh, <clears throat> on a deeper level. So again, be open to that, okay? Try the best you can not to be stubborn also. I was told and it came on very strong. So this could be with family, relatives. Um, it could represent your children if you guys have children. Um, try the best you can not to... Uh, be stubborn, like I said, try to find common ground, commonalities, and try to agree to disagree if need be, okay? So anyways, let's get into your reading. This is going to be for Aries for the month of September 2017. Spirit, what are the messages for Aries for the month of September 2017? Spirit, what are the messages for Aries for the month of September 2017? <laughs> Okay, let's see what spirit has. Oh, cards are popping out already. Oh, wow. Okay. So when we were talking about fatigue, um, being a little bit um, like a scattered energy, um, this definitely has to do with, again, the lunar cycle and uh, the, the lunar eclipse, sorry. <coughs> this has to do with the lunar eclipse and with the Mercury retrograde that we had been dealing with previously and with the solar eclipse that recently happened. And the reason why I say that is because you have the moon and the star. So this speaks to me on the universe type of field. This is talking about, um, again, uh, you know, the, the stars in the cosmos. So that probably has a lot to do because that's how you're starting off your month. Okay, let's see. All right, here we go. So I'm going to be pulling out more cards for this, for this month of September. Okay, and your general energy is, wow, the Ace of Pentacles. All right, Aries, 
So the Ace of Pentacles definitely talks about promises for new beginnings, which correlates with the message that Spirit Guides gave to me. Um, that of new opportunities coming for you guys and being daring, being open to try new things or new possibilities or dealing with new people or challenging yourself. Uh, Ace of Pentacles also promises a offer when it comes to finances, when it comes to higher position, or when it speaks about bringing in um, or being able to work on the side and create out of something that is creative or an outlet for you to express yourselves can actually turn into something where they actually pay you for that service, okay? So that's definitely a good thing. Also, ACEs do promise because it's on the practical, uh, in the practical matters, it also speaks about at the beginning stages of a new relationship for some of you Aries out there. So anyways, how you're starting off your month, again, you have the moon here and the star. So the moon usually represents um, hidden, uh, hidden uh, personality, uh, hidden things from you, um, people not being who they seem to be at face value, etc. But because it's next to the star card, it also speaks about if you guys have been dealing with when it comes to relationships about things that have not seemed to be very clear to you guys. There's a lot of uncertainties concerning that. Uh, for the month of September, you're definitely going into having clarity of mind, having a clear uh, outlook or a clear um, basically answers towards your questions or doubts again like I said I do want to mention it also speaks about cosmos so a lot of your energies are definitely being highly um, affected uh, with the lunar cycle that we passed and the solar uh, eclipse that we recently experienced and also the fact that we are a couple of days from full moon so again manifestations if you guys are trying to manifest anything whether it's abundance whether it's growth or whether it's relationships start putting the intention now because we are getting closer to the full moon and again full moons are always about the ending process of something but also uh, the extraction or pulling away from things that no longer serves us moving in towards new beginnings and again this ace of pentacles definitely speaks to that now you guys have the nine here the nine of uh, pentacles so the nine of pentacles definitely talks about abundance and growth when it comes to finances but it also is a representation of the singlehood type of uh, card so for some of you most of you actually either have recently experienced an ending because you do have the ten of swords here an ending from a relationship or walking away from the relationship based on the fact that there was no honesty or there was things that were being hidden from you guys okay and you guys moved on from that because these are in the past and passing positions this is a six of swords so it's moving away from that and being able to accept the ending now with the star card here and the temperance finally you're starting to feel like yourself again or you're starting to have clarity or it can also be a representation of having new hope okay you have the Three of Cups here, and the Three of Cups is a celebratory type of energy. But it also speaks about being more social or being surrounded by comrades, being surrounded by girlfriends, uh, people that inspire you and that are, you know, trying the best they can to bring you out into the social scene uh, to show you a good time. But again, when doing that, <clears throat> for those of you guys that are single at the present time, there's definitely love already existent in your circle. So what that means, you're dealing either with a earth sign an earth sign would be a capricorn taurus or virgo or you're dealing with an air sign an air sign would be an aquarius gemini or libra and this ace of swords i mean ace of cups definitely represents uh, beginning stages of new love but it also is love that is going to that is starting the beginning stages but it's also going to get to the materialization okay so that's definitely definitely a good thing um now you do have in your near future position, I feel that this relationship or this person that's coming into your life, whether it's an earth sign or an air sign, um, could be a person that uh, actually has a connection to you. So it could be someone that was a friend to you in the past, uh, and then you guys recently start getting to know each other all over again in a way, but you start seeing each other in different eyes, or different ways I should say. Um, or it can be a representation of a soulmate type of uh, connection that you find. You have the two of wands here, which definitely speaks about partnerships and new beginning partnerships. So it's definitely a new relationship coming in for you guys. And finally, being able to manifest the practicalities of actually having a long-term commitment. The knight is one step from the king, which is a person that is obviously in a long-term relationship or in a very 
serious monogamous relationship. Now, for those of you guys that currently just broke up, perhaps you guys broke up with a person that was um, of an earth sign. Earth signs, again, like I said, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And uh, you basically decided to walk away from this relationship based on the fact that, again, like I said, there is no clarity. There is a lot of confusion going on there. Um, you can be dealing also with an Aquarius specifically because this is a star card. So after that breakup, there was some clarity and balance. Again, like I said, starting to feel like you're finding yourself again. The Three of Cups is definitely talking about uh, third-party issues or third-party type of energy. So perhaps it was you or it was them who was dealing with other people, uh, which came to the to the outside. Uh, basically, you were able to find out or someone told you about it. The possibility of a friend coming to you and opening up or letting you know is very high. And again, like I said, um, once you're able to ground yourself and find yourself again, um, you're going to be presented with a new opportunity or an, a new love offer. Again, like I said, it could be a representation of an air sign. So again, definitely, definitely a beautiful month for you, Aries. Uh, I feel like, again, the message that I got was that of partnerships. So partnerships is definitely going to be very important for you guys for the month of September. For those of you guys that are in a serious relationship, a serious monogamous relationship, the same message applies. There's been a lot of confusion, uh, but you guys are finally moving on from that confusion because there is the Ten of Swords here, and the Ten of Swords promises endings of that cycle. The, the Star card definitely represents, again, like seeing light or being able to have clarity. The Temperance is being there represented or shown as being able to balance or be uh, understanding, mutual understanding. And the Three of Cups is, again, a celebratory type of energy and energy that is going to bring um, loving and encouraging communication from one to the other in partnerships, okay? And the Nine of Cups is definitely talking about, sorry, the Nine of Pentacles is definitely talking about stability when it comes to the home life and when it comes to um, finances. And the Ace of Cups is, again, like I said, the rejuvenation of a long-term relationship uh, you know, being more passionate, being more intense with each other. The Queen of Swords is definitely asking you to be a little bit more grounded and analytical. Try the best you can not to judge, not to judge harshly to your partner and be patient. Offer them the love. Remember how it felt when you guys first started falling for each other and do and allow them to do for you as well. The two of wants, again, reciprocation when it comes to love and when it comes to your partnership. And the Knight of Pentacles definitely promises a more growth and advancement. You're one step from the Ten of Pentacles, which is complete abundance, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, comment, like, share my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel, and we will see from each other soon, okay? Bye.